What if I told you that the same AI technology that powers your virtual assistants could be weaponized against you? Meet Warm GPT and Front GPT, AI tools designed not to assist, but to deceive and exploit. These malevolent AI models are taking cybercrime to new heights and your digital security could be at risk. In this video, we will discuss how cyber criminals use advanced AI models like Warm GPT and Front GPT to carry out sophisticated cyber attacks. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest insights in cybersecurity. Let's start by introducing the two main players in this new era of AI powered cybercrime Warm GPT and Fraud GPT. They are specifically designed to aid in malicious activities and they're already making waves in the cyber criminal underground. Warm GPT, described as ChatGPT's malicious cousin, burst onto the scene in July 2023. It's an AI module based on the GPT-J language model, but with a sinister twist. Unlike ChatGPT, which has built-in ethical constraints, WarmGPT was based on unethical constraints with a wide array of malware-related data. This means it's primed and ready to assist in all sorts of cybercriminal activities. Researchers from the cybersecurity firm Next discovered in July 2023 when they accessed the tool via a prominent online forum on the dark web. According to Daniel Kelly, a reformed black hat computer hacker who works with Slash Next, Warm GPT was allegedly trained on a diverse array of data sources, particularly concentrating on malware-related data. Kelly adds that it presents itself as a black hat alternative to GPT models. But what exactly can Warm GPT do? Well, it's designed to produce human-like text that cybercriminals can use to perform a wide range of malicious activities. One of its most concerning capabilities is its ability to craft highly convincing business email compromise attacks. BEC is a sophisticated type of phishing attack where cybercriminals hack into and spoof emails to impersonate a company CEO or other high-ranking executives. They then send emails to employees, often urgently requesting them to make purchases or transfer money via wire. This advanced form of social engineering has resulted in billions of dollars in losses for businesses worldwide. But WarmGPT doesn't stop at BSC attacks. It can also write malicious code, create exploits, and even generate ideas for new hacking techniques. And it does all of this without any ethical constraints built into mainstream AI models like ChatGPT. WarmGPT proudly markets itself as an uncensored alternative tailor-made for cyber criminal activities. This dangerous tool first appeared on Hack Forums, a notorious online marketplace for illicit cyber tools and services. The creator of WarmGPT, who goes by the handle Last, boldly advertised his creation as a no-holds-barred version of ChanGPT. In his own words, WarmGPT is designed to let you do all sorts of illegal stuff from the comfort of your own home. Licenses for this tool don't come cheap, ranging from 500 to 5,000 euros. To demonstrate the potential dangers of WarmGPT, cybersecurity firm Slash Next put it to the test. They asked it to create a business email compromise phishing door, a sophisticated scam that tricks employees into transferring money. The results were alarming. WarmGPT produced an email that was both highly convincing and strategically crafted, highlighting its potential for advanced phishing attacks. But who is behind this dangerous tool? A bit of digital sleuthing revealed that last is likely Rafael Moraes, a recent IT graduate from Portugal. In an unexpected twist, Moraes was surprisingly open about his creation when contacted. He claimed that WarmGPT was initially just an interesting project and that he's now maintaining it to help the community. Despite starting his career in ethical hacking, Moraes admitted to turning to the dark side in 2019 due to financial pressures. Interestingly, as WarmGPT has gained notoriety, Moraes claimed to be adding some limitations to the tool. He says they're now prohibiting content related to extreme crimes and are working on blocking business email compromise attacks. However, on various hacking forums, he continues to promote WarmGPT's ability to create undetectable malware. The creators of WarmGPT are constantly improving their product. They recently unveiled version 2, which comes packed with new features and enhanced capabilities. These include unlimited characters, coding formatting, 
and conversation saving. It's like they're running an evil tech startup, continuously iterating and improving their product to better service their criminal customers. Now, let's turn our attention to FraudGPT. Like its counterpart, WormGPT, FraudGPT is an AI-driven hacker tool sold on the dark web and Telegram. It was spotted by the NetEdric Threat Research Team in the summer of 2023, and it's already causing alarm in the cybersecurity community. FraudGPT is sold on a subscription basis, with prices ranging from $200 per month to $1,700 per year. But what do cyber criminals get for their money? FraudGPT can write phishing emails and social engineering content, create exploits, malware, and hacking tools, discover vulnerabilities and compromised credentials, find the best sites to use tolling card details, create phishing pages, write scam pages and letters, find leaks and vulnerabilities, and even provide advice on hacking techniques and cybercrime. It's like having a seasoned cyber criminal as a personal assistant, available 24-7 to help with all your illegal activities. And that's exactly what makes tools like WormGPT and FraudGPT so dangerous. The emergence of tools like WormGPT and FraudGPT represents a significant shift in the cybercrime landscape. These AI-powered tools are essentially democratizing cybercrime, lowering the barrier to entry for criminals. Daniel Kelly says, As the more public GPT tools are tuned to better protect themselves against unethical use, the bad guys will create their own. The evil counterparts will not have those ethical boundaries to contend with. This is exactly what we're seeing unfold. In the last few months alone, three more of these malicious AI tools were discovered, Evil GPT, Triple X GPT, and Wolf GPT. And experts predict there will likely be more by the end of the year. However, what makes Fraun GPT particularly dangerous is its user-friendly nature. It's not just a tool, it's a full-service platform for cybercrime. As Piri Avist, co-founder and CTO at Hoxon says, Fraud GPT is like having a personal cybercrime assistant. It doesn't just give you the tools, it walks you through the entire process of creating a phishing campaign. This ease of use is a game-changer in the world of cybercrime. In the past, launching sophisticated phishing attacks required a certain level of technical skill. However, with Fraud GPT, that barrier is lowered significantly. Now, even someone with minimal technical knowledge can craft targeted, convincing phishing campaigns. Avist compares this to the evolution we have seen in legitimate software development. It's like the cybercrime world has suddenly gotten its own next-generation product development tool. He explains, Just as software companies use advanced tools to streamline their development process, cybercriminals now have found FraudGPT to streamline their attack creation process. The implications are far-reaching and deeply concerning. These tools make sophisticated attacks accessible to even novice cybercriminals. In the past, crafting a convincing phishing email or writing malware required a certain level of skill and experience. Now, with tools like WormGPT and FraudGPT, anyone with access to these platforms can potentially launch complex cyber attacks. Secondly, the AI-generated content from these tools is incredibly convincing. We're not talking about the poorly written, typo-filled phishing emails of the past. These AI models can produce text that's virtually indistinguishable from something a human would write. This makes it much harder for individuals and even automated systems to detect and prevent these attacks. The speed and scale at which these AI tools can operate is unprecedented. An AI can generate hundreds or even thousands of unique phishing emails in the time it would take a human to write just one. This allows cybercriminals to cast a much wider net, potentially increasing their success rate. But it's not just about email phishing. These tools can be used for a wide range of malicious activities. Like, one cybercriminal on a dark web forum demonstrated how they used WormGPT to create a sophisticated phishing email impersonating a company CEO. The email was not only grammatically correct and professionally written, but it also included specific details about the company that made it extremely convincing. Another user showed how they used FraudGPT to generate code for fake banking website. The code was fully functional and looked identical to the real bank site, making it nearly impossible for average users to detect the fraud. In yet another case, a cyber committal used one of these AI tools 
to create a detailed guide on how to exploit a specific software vulnerability. This guide was so comprehensive that even inexperienced hackers could potentially use it to launch successful attacks. However, the true danger of tools like FrontGPT lies not just in their capabilities, but in how they've democratizing cybercrime. These AI-powered weapons are now available to anyone, regardless of their technical knowledge or hacking skills. It's like putting a nuclear weapon in the hands of a street thug. Subtly, even the most amateur criminals can launch sophisticated attacks. In fact, a recent survey of 300 cybersecurity stakeholders revealed a shocking statistic that states that 80% believe AI-generated email attacks have already targeted their organization. Let that sink in for a moment. The AI cybercrime revolution isn't coming. It's already here. While there's currently no evidence of active attacks using FrontGPT, the potential for harm is significant. The tool focuses on short-duration high-volume attacks such as phishing, while WormGPT is geared towards longer-term attacks involving malware and ransomware. This division of labor between the two tools allows cybercriminals to cover a broad spectrum of attack strategies. Do you still trust the AI tools you use every day? The digital landscape is changing, and so are the threats we face. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay informed about the latest in cybersecurity. See you in the next video.